Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions, and welcome to my new Let's Play, and it is... The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Okay, so a couple days ago I decided to put up a poll for whether or not I should do this game. And in that poll, I had yes, yes, but wait until other Let's Players were done, and no. And I had no one that said no. And all my votes were for yes and yes, but wait. I ended up getting 50-50... Like 50%, 50% on both of those answers right there. And I was like, okay, I want to see whatever wins. So I decided, okay, I'm going to extend it. I posted it on Twitter. And I also, um, I put something on my update video in case, you know, just so I get people to go to that poll and answer it. But it turns out it kept balancing out. So at that point, the, the total votes was eight for yes and then eight for yes but wait and I was like okay you know what I'll just do what Adam Sandler would say just go for it yeah I'm trying to reference a movie there and let's go right into the game so this is the first Legend of Zelda let's play on my channel that's because I'm generally not a big fan of the Legend of Zelda series but this game I really enjoy a lot I actually enjoy this a lot better than the original believe it or not just because of the fact that in the older games I would generally get you know, there's some people that would call it time stress, I would think. And it was just that I would get a little stressed out when playing because I feel like there's just such a limit, like limited amount of time. And it was just a little crazy because let's say you miss a part, then you have to go through a lot of trouble just to get back to that, cer yeah, that certain time. And it's really, it was kind of frustrating for me because I wasn't really good at the game back then too. So, I mean, I tried it again recently and I've really enjoyed it. So I'm like, okay, I'll just buy the remake. I want to see if it's a lot better than the original. In fact, there were some change in, changes in this game that I really enjoyed. Of course, yes, um, there's different changes like, let's say, you can save at the save owl. You can jump through time a little easier in this game, which is really nice. And then there are some unused, there are like not useful changes like, let's say, uh, Deku Link really doesn't have that, like, you know how it has that spin, like uh, spin attacker or whatever? Basically, it doesn't get that special boost like of speed, so jumping from lily pad to lily pad in liquids makes it a little more stressful because you kind of have to get a little head start, but yet again, it's not really that big of a deal. I have not completed this game yet, but I have completed a lot of it to know what I need to do for the, main, for the first half of the game. I'll be playing on my own save file to make sure I know what I'm doing. This will be a 100% let's play, and it's going to be a 720p, 60 frames per second let's play as well because this game does support 60 frames per second. So, yes, hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play, and let's get going. Yeah, there's my save file, right? My old one. But anyways, uh, let's enter a name here. Um, I guess I'll just put my name back in. So, my name is Michael. And we are saving our file right now. That is great. And here we go. Oh, this game supports CirclePad Pro. Don't use, because I don't have a CirclePad Pro, and this is definitely not a new 3DS. So, let's just move on. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family and a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, kept crept away from a land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search for the beloved and, and invaluable friend. A friend who he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took place among legends.
Hee hee, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, ooh, let, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tell. What do we do if we dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Ah, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Okay, we need to get that back. <laughs> Look at Link's face in the back, just in the background there. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so now time to go over basic controls. So all the controls you need to know at this point is just the analog stick is the way you move and the D-pad doesn't do anything. The L button kind of gives you like a, a view there and then R is to use a shield. Also later in the game when there's going to be enemies the L button actually makes it so you can lock on to uh, certain creatures. And yes, other buttons like there's uh, A which is usually to roll or attack of some sort. But, and then if you want to use your sword, all you have to do is just slash the B button. So, alright. Looks like we're looking good here. Might as well stack up on rupees while we can here, since they're, they're free. So, alright, there we go, and now let's head right in. So, anyways, if you come over here, we can definitely get a little more rupees, which is really nice. And, looks like these are alive of some sort. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they have their own spirit. I have no idea, but they went away. But anyways, if we go over to the sign, it'll say, yes, you may know this, but here's a quick review of the basic controls. Yeah, I just went over those. And also right here, you can also uh, uh, target on uh, signs. So instead of Z targeting, like in the old games, this is L targeting, which is really nice. And all you have to do, I mean, there's no con there's no controls based on like moving or jumping. All you do is just move the analog stick and it does its jumping and stuff for us, which is actually pretty convenient. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did a favor and got rid of it. Hee 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 hee. Ah, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think that you can beat me as I am now? Fool! I have to say, that's pretty powerful. And thinking about the big fall here, they just showed us falling like a, from a really amazing height. How do we not break something? Nintendo logic. So let's see what's going on here. Oh man, that's a little crazy. And now he's getting chased by one big one. Oh boy. He must have gotten attacked. <laughs> oh, hey, that looks like a good form. Hehe, <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking like that way forever.
Hey, whoa, get get out of here. You know what, if I could just blow a bubble right now, I'd be able to blow it and you'd be down. S sis Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me. And... Yeah, you're useless now, bud. You're stuck with me now. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something on my face? Will you stop staring and just open the door for me? Come on! I'm a helpless little girl's asking you, so hurry up! Ah, oh, Tail, I wonder if that child would be alright on his own. Okay, so now we have our first form, which is uh, Deku Link. So in order to use them, the moving controls are exactly the same, but now if you want to go really quick, you're going to have to use the A button, which is the attack spin. Like I said earlier with the Deku Link, if you're not moving and then you try to go, see it doesn't give you that boost still. So yeah, you have to make sure you're running first and then you and then it activates the extra speed boost. I don't know, it's kind of a weird control thing, but whatever. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So let's open this door. Alright. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! Oh, that stuff back there, I, I apologize, so please take me with you. You wanna know about that Skull Kid who ran off, right? Well, I just happen to have an idea where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out, deal? Please! Good, then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name is Tattle, so uh, nice to meet you, or whatever. Now we got all that straightened out, can we just stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press the right button on the D-pad and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll be able to manage to get off to get by without my help until then. He the link's like, oh great. Okay, so So if you want to use these, all you have to do is go over to the flower and hold down the A button. And basically what you can do is then let go and then you'll be able to soar. So first I'm gonna come down here, because you know, free rupees. This is not going to be the main occurring theme of the Let's Play, but trust me, you'll need them for the beginning of the game. So might as well get them now, while they're given to you for free. Because right now, there's no time limit, like in the older games. I mean, not in the older games. No, right when you get out, in a little bit later, we'll be going to the point where you are going to be starting to get time. So might as well get the free rupees, that, like right now, so you don't have to deal with it later. So... Let's go up here and soar over to the other side where the door is. Or glide. Probably glide is a better term for that. I don't know. Whatever you guys think. Okay. So. So what we're going to do here is that we are going to... Um, they just basically make it so you expand on this more. Make sure you're getting good at it. And it's really not that hard of a thing to do. But over here, if you, you can find a treasure chest, and inside you'll be able to find some Deku Nuts. So now while you're in the air, you can actually throw them with B. So you, it, all it does is just drop them right on top of the enemy, which is very useful for uh, later in the game. So, let's say that you are trying to glide, and let's say you don't make it. Like, let's say you fall. Like that. All it does is just bring you back to, well, the beginning. I don't know if they consider that dying. I'm not too sure. But there are certain points of the game where it could bring you back to the beginning, or it could put you where you just left off. So let's see, can I even make it from over here? I don't think I can. Oh, I barely did. Oh, crap. That was cr Ooh. Okay, so now they're just trying to show you L targeting here. So now, let's just talk to Tattle here. There you go, see, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use L to look at them so you can interact with them. L targeting is to talk to people even when they're far away. Oh, if there's no target, you can use L to look straight ahead. So come over to that tree and we'll check it out. So let's say Link is looking this way. If you press L, it changes its direction to that. It is very useful, but yet again, the camera can be a little bit crazy at times. It's If you don't have a Circle Pad Pro or you don't have that C stick on the new 3DS, of course, or if you don't even have the new 3DS in general, it makes it a little tougher. I'm not, I haven't tested it yet. I mean, I've never tried the new 3DS yet. I haven't gone out to a GameStop to try it out or anything. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that little C thumbstick thing is definitely a little useful. I'm sure it's pretty useful in this game for the camera. Because, I mean, the only way to adjust the camera is using the L targeting. 
And that sometimes can be a problem. There's no more going back. So, we are inside of a, well, an exotic building of some sort. So let's go over jumping over liquids. As you saw right there, that was something that is uh, quite interesting. But when I was talking about when Deku Link, if it doesn't have any time to spin, like as you can tell right there, it really doesn't help it at all when you're trying to go through because it for some reason needs you to walk for some reason as you can tell that's an example of the camera being a little weird but if you run and spin see it's it's a it makes you go a lot farther unlike the older games you wouldn't need to start running and there's points of the game where you'll need to you know go a little farther and it's kind of difficult because there's less space to run so you kind of have to work yourself around which can be a little bit of a problem but if you go over here to this thing this is actually new into this game it's a Sheikah stone, so basically if you get stuck in the game, you can just crawl right into here and then it will tell you what to do. So it's quite interesting. I mean, it definitely was not in the older games. It was in Ocarina of Time 3D. I'm not even sure if it was in the original because I never played the original of Ocarina of Time 3D. Probably not, but yeah, it definitely wasn't in Majora's Mask because that, that was a game I actually played, Legend of Zelda. Like, that was one of the older, only games I played. But if you come up here... You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen f from me by an imp in the woods. So I am here at a loss, and now I've found you. So now, don't think me rude, but I've been following you. Why couldn't you help me? For I know a way to return you to your former self. If you can go back, if you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, you mean the ocarina, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you can get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task? Why to someone like you it should be by, by no means a difficult task. Except, the, only th the one thing is, is I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you can bring it, bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Oh, and one more thing. Please be so kind to direct your gaze over there the, for the moment. Oh, well, I just talked about that. The strange stone over there. Do you see? It's called the Sheikah Stone. When the world is weighed on you, don't down with worry. Crawl inside and I'll show you the way. If you ever find yourself lost in your grand adventure, seek the counsel of this wise old stone. It will surely help you on your normal quest. Well then, I'm counting on you. Alright, well, that's something. So, I think I'll end off the episode here. So, in the next episode, we're going to be starting the first set of the three-day interval. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like for comment, subscribe, check your inbox, and see you guys next time for some more po- not Pokemon, oh my gosh, Majora's Mask 3D.